How you doing guys? Welcome to Barstool Banter. Today we're going to be trying a couple sours. Uh, I'm Jack. And I'm Big Daddy Corndog. <laughs> so what we got here is uh, we got Cherry Jane, a uh, cherry sour from Lagunitas. We got Passion Aggressive, uh, Passion Fruit Sour from Barrel House Brewing. And then on the end we got the Briny Melon Goza from Anderson Valley. So yeah, uh, we're going to start I, what I think is going to be an increasing level of sourness. Um, so these two, the cherry and the passion fruit, are both pretty similar as far as sourness goes. But um, the briny melon, I believe, is going to be the most sour. So we're going to kind of work our way up. That way we don't shock our palates with something too sour right in the beginning. Which one's this one again? That is passion aggressive. I think uh, I think Jack's going to like that passion aggressive because he's pretty passive aggressive. I'm, oh, I thought you were going to say I was passionate. <laughs> I was going to say, I'm pretty passionate. I'm a passionate guy. All right, let's get it started. Let's do uh, let's do the Cherry Jane first. Crack her open. Okay. So, mm. it smells delicious. Which one's this one? This is the Cherry, Cherry Jane. Um, so yeah, it, it, it does have a cherry smell, kind of real cherry and kind of candy cherry to me. Like it's kind of right on the cusp, you know, sometimes yeah. you get that like NyQuil cherry. Yeah. I don't really get that. To me it kind of smells like a, like a cherry Jolly Rancher. Kinda. Um, but there's, there's an element of, I don't know if that's just because it's a sour beer, but there's an element of like tartness that reminds me of real cherries too. Um, with all the sour beers I've had, I always get that hint of like it's the sour smell. It's like the it's like malic acid or yeah. Uh, yeah. If you've ever had like a, um, which I'm sure most of you guys have, if you've ever had like a warhead, that kind of salt on the outside, uh, the sour salt, uh, it kind of has that sort of smell to it. There's no real other way to describe it other than sour. It smells sour. And then so, a lot of these beers, they kind of that smell kind of takes over a lot. But in this one, you can actually get a lot of the cherry smell. Yeah, it smells really good. Ready? Let's do it. Roast. Man. So I really like that beer. It's really good. It's really good. Yeah, a lot of cherry. Mm. Uh, a good amount of tartness to it. Not too sour, but yeah, this is a really good if you're if you're. If you don't like sour beers, or if you're just trying to get into it, this would be a good starting point. You don't want to go to something too crazy um, that just overwhelms your taste buds because it's just so sour. Like sometimes you get those sours, you take a drink and it feels like someone just punched you right in the face. I uh, like those ones. Yeah, I was gonna say like where it makes my fucking jaw tickle. Yeah, I kind of <laughs> like those too. <laughs> but uh, some people, like especially if you're new to sours, that's a little off-putting. So this is a good place to start. Um, but I get lots of cherry. Uh, I would say it's actually more tart than sour. I mean, like maybe that's from yeah, the, the cheeriness. It would be more it's like tart. a nice tart ale. Um, it didn't have a whole lot of carbonation. Um, kind of, kind of medium, I guess. Very drinkable. Yeah, really good. And it's almost got like a, uh, like a syrupiness to it. I think you know maybe that's from again the cherry just making it, make, yeah, you know, making me think it's syrupy. But overall, really good, uh, really good beer. Um, it's from Lagunitas, so they're uh, they're pretty big. I'm sure everybody knows Lagunitas, so I mean you can't go wrong with the brewery that's doing as well as they are. Yeah, that's for sure. So, all right, let's uh, try the next one. Your favorite. First rodeo right here with this uh, reviewing process. Uh, give us a little bit. Passion of a aggressive sour ale. Passive aggressive sour ale. Passion. I, oh, that's what I said. Passive. All right. So, like I said, everybody knows Lagunitas. They're huge. Um, these other two breweries are a little smaller. Uh, Barrel House is kind of an up and comer uh, in the craft scene. They're out of Paso. They're a really excellent brewery. They make a delicious oatmeal stout. They have a ton of really good sours. I actually just tried that boysenberry sour at the tap room the other day. Delicious. Um, so yeah, uh, if you haven't heard of Barrel House, keep an eye out for them because I feel like they're going to be making some waves here. Oh yeah, that smells delicious. I can smell the passion fruit just Yeah, so this one, strong. 
a lot more going on in the aroma, I would say, at least. The other one was kind of the cherry overtook everything, and it was kind of just cherry. This one you get, maybe just because passion fruit is more complex of a smell than cherry. You said this one wasn't supposed to be, or this one's supposed to be more sour than that one? Uh, I think that it's, I haven't tried them back to back. I think that they're pretty comparable. This one is not that sour. It's kind of like the cherry. It's a little sour, good beginning sour beer. It's not like, uh, you know, super intense. This is Barrel House? This is Barrel House, yeah. But yeah, I get the passion fruit. There's a lot of tropical flavors that go in there. It doesn't really smell that sour. It smells more fruity to me. Well, let's drink this some bitch and see what we got going here. Let's do it. Mm. Yeah, delicious. Um, not as sour as I thought it was going to be. Um, but judging from the smell, after I smelled it, I didn't uh, think it was going to be that sour after all. Yeah, I would say those two on the sour scale are... Real comparable. If I had, if like a, I was forced to choose one, if somebody had a gun in my head or something, I might say this one's just a tad bit more sour than the Cherry Jane. What do you think? Yeah, actually, well, more sour, but I think the Cherry Jane's more tart. So yeah. there's two different uh, I guess yeah. descriptions. For I can it. see that. This one, th this I, I love this beer, man. This is this is probably one of my favorite go-to sours. Just for like we were talking about earlier, you get those sours that you take a sip and it punches you in the face, and they're really good. But after a glass or two, you're like, all right, I think I need it give my taste buds a rest or whatever. This is one, if you want it, if you're in the mood for something sour and you're like, I'm gonna crush a six pack, this guy right here. It's got tons of passion fruit. Uh, I get a little bit of guava, maybe some orange. There was a little bit of like orange rind or something in there. It's really good. Um, decent amount of carbonation, decent amount of sourness. Overall, it's just a really solid beer. I think it tastes a little bit, and for people that don't drink sours very often, if you're just starting out, I think this is a good one because you don't. it tastes a little bit more like beer to me than the last one. Right. It has a more of like what, like a lager? Um, I guess it's kind of crisp like a lager. It's kind of hard to, I would say more like a wheat beer maybe. Yeah. Just because of the fruit, it kind of makes you think of a wheat beer even though it's not really. Um, but yeah, it's a really solid beer. Um, Overall, it's really good. Yeah, I think it is fan fucking tasty. Yeah, I like them both a lot, but it, but trying them side by side, I think I have to say that I like the passion better. I, I, I knew he would. I told you he was gonna like that damn passion. You know me too well. <laughs> you know me too well. stretch a beer and a brewer that is very near and dear to my heart, Anderson Valley. This is definitely like craft beer territory. Not a whole lot of people know about Anderson Valley. Um, I, I feel like they're getting their name out there a little bit more. There, I'm starting to see them in more like decent liquor stores. I mean, obviously you can get them at Bedmo or Total Wine or something like that. Um, but I'm starting to see them pop up more places, which is good. This is one of the the brewers that actually started me on like my craft beer journey. I tried their oatmeal stout. Probably one of the best oatmeal scouts I've had. Yeah, probably close to, I don't know, what, five years ago, six yeah, years ago, right. and then ever since then. So this is a Goza, uh, a sour style ale, uh, a little bit different than just a standard sour, a little saltier. Um, it's got a couple other different characteristics to it, but I really like Gozas. They're one of my favorites. Yeah. I think the salt really helps bring out the flavor. Uh, and so this one, without even having to taste it, I'm going to tell you this is the most sour out of the three that we tried today, at least. Let's see. So yeah, you definitely get melon. It's kind of like melon rind, I'd say. Yeah, it's a little bit of honeydew, maybe. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like uh, to me, it always reminds me of. This might not sound <laughs> that appealing, but when you're <laughs> when you're like eating watermelon and you get down to the bottom and it's like the the rind part of the watermelon that's kind of firm and almost like vegetal smelling, <laughs> I guess. It, it sounds gross, but it actually smells pretty good. He would pick the fucking nastiest part of the damn melon. To you know that, it yeah. You know that trash part of the melon that nobody <laughs> eats and you just throw away. That's right here. Yeah, that's right. That's, that's my favorite. That's that, usually I just save those and then I take them to work and snack on. <clears throat> well, hopefully it doesn't taste like that. No, I do get that smell. Yeah, uh, it's melony, like you said, a little honeydew. Uh, I definitely get the salt, even in the smell. You can tell that it's got a little bit of salt in it. Well, the anticipation's fucking killing me. Let's drink this bad boy. Without further ado. Mm. Way more sour. Yeah, definitely the most sour. Mm. 
delicious though. Taste that little salt on the back. Yeah, you, you know, it's real salty. Jack likes this <laughs> the salt flavor on the back of his throat. Just so you guys know. Hey, what I do on my Friday nights is nobody's business. So it, it's got a good amount of melon flavor, lots of sourness, uh, uh, the perfect amount of saltiness in my opinion. Like some people who've never had a Gosa before, and you tell them you know it's a little salty, they're kind of like. So I don't want salt in my beard unless it's Corona. <laughs> but um, no, it actually is really good. Uh, if anybody out there puts salt on their watermelons before they eat it, like I do, it's kind of the same idea, I think. Yeah. Um, but super sour, a uh, little floral, uh, lots of melon. It's just an overall delicious beer. You know, and uh, the sourness is really there. So if you don't like sour, the sour flavor. This beer is probably not for you. Yeah. But if you do like a good sour beer, this is one of the one of my favorites. Yeah. It's definitely not the most sour beer on the market. Like there are some that I've had that are just like balls to the wall sour. Um, I would say this one is pretty decently high on the sour scale. There's yeah. there's ones out there that are more sour. If you're like a sour head and you're searching for the most sour beer, um, but this to me, as someone who loves sour beers is kind of uh, kind of right where you want it on the cusp. It's not as easy drinking as something like the Cherry Jane or the Passion, uh, but a little more sour than that, but you can still pound these. Like, I could, I could drink a six-pack of these. I like sour beers, but I like to have flavor in my beer, too. So, And I still want it to taste like a beer. I don't want no just, like, a fruity drink. You know, I want to, I'm going to have a beer. I want a beer. So this, is, this one's there. Yeah, and, and this, yeah, like, I know that argument. I personally hate when people use this argument, but people say all the time, I want my beer to taste like a beer. Um, so if you're one of those people, first of all, let's never be friends. But if you're one of those people, um, this definitely has a beer flavor. It's got the, the sourness and the melon on top of that, but it's got a solid beer base. Uh, my argument to that, though, is that a beer can taste like whatever it wants to taste like. There's no, like, like this is what beer should taste like. Beer can taste like beer. I've had beer that tastes No, but it doesn't taste like fucking fruit juice either. That's true. That's what I mean. Right, right. It, right. No, it doesn't taste like a juice, but yeah. it, it actually has a... Uh, no, yeah, this is definitely not a juice. Um, it, it's not for the faint of heart. No, that's for This sure. is serious, like, beer drinker's beer here. And on that note, I'm going to refill my glass because it was damn good and I'm thirsty. I'm thirsty, so I'm too. That is delicious. So there you go. Uh, three sour beers. Um, something to look out for if you're... Uh, looking for something new to try, maybe you're wanting to break into the sour scene. It's it's getting bigger. Yeah, yeah, I see more sure. and more sours every day. I remember you used to have to hunt down a sour beer. Yeah. And now you can go to a, a decent liquor store and you can just come across one that you never heard of before and say, oh, let me pick this up. So, uh, yeah, all of these, you're, you can't go wrong, with, no matter what you choose. No, if they all have their own flavors, though. So, um, I wouldn't necessarily pick one to be better over the, uh, over the next. Because they're all different. If you don't want a super sour beer, you might want to start like on the Lagunitas side or the, the passive aggressive that Jack likes right here. <laughs> People are going to get the impression that you don't like this beer. And uh -huh. then they're going to taste it and realize how delicious it is and they're going to know that you're full of shit. <laughs> and they're like, this guy has bad taste. It is delicious. Okay. <laughs> but if that does not change the fact that I knew he would like it because he is a little timid sometimes. We all have our sense of <laughs> So that being said, I know that you just said that you can't really pick one over the other. That's exactly what we're going to do. If you had to choose one oh. as your favorite. You son of a bitch, Jack. You <laughs> son of a bitch. Which, which one would you go for if, if you had to name a grand champion? Or actually, let's say, let's do 3-2-1. Um, from, from worst to best, what would you rank them? If you had to. Hold well, on, let me try this on. I'm just looking for an excuse to try this beer one more time. I know I'm pouring it in with the the Goza, but get over it. <laughs> oh man! So me personally, from best to good or to great I would say from best um, to great <laughs> <laughs> well to my favorite stuff. my favorite to That's my how I rank least my favorite That's I guess of these three best to, to would be um, 
I would probably do the Goza as my favorite. It's a hard toss up between these two. Um, I would probably put the Cherry and then the um, Passive Aggressive. That's just my personal opinion. Um, but for sure, I think I'm going to go with the, the Goza as being my favorite. Um, yeah, like I said, they're all really good, so uh, it's a tough decision, but... Don't you copy me now. You better pick your own dance. I would do exactly this right here and then call it good. <laughs> you son of a bitch. No, if, if I had to pick, I would probably go... Uh, I think the Cherry Jane is my least favorite, even though I still really, really like it. Um, and then the Goza second... I love that brownie melon goza. But there's so, I think it's the passion fruit. <laughs> I love anything passion fruit For just because it's so unique and it's so, like, there's nothing else out there like it. Yeah, like I haven't it. had a lot of beers with it in there either. Um, but and to me, personally, I think the passion fruits, uh, or the passive aggressive ones, actually, they're probably the most drinkable beer. But flavor-wise is what I went off of. What I like. Yeah, yeah, the passion fruit is, it's a little on the funky side. I knew uh, that some bitch was going to like that passion fruit, though. I knew it. It's yeah, a, it's a, you <laughs> son of a bitch. It's a little on the funky side, so you have to, the, like, just as a little, you know, disclaimer, you have to like passion fruit because that is what this beer is all about. Um, but obviously, that's what they were going for, so I think they succeeded. I love passion fruit. That's why I like it so much. If you don't like passion fruit, you're not going to like this beer. So, but I mean, that goes for all of them. If you don't like honeydew if you don't like cherry because that's the flavor that's predominant yeah i mean the, the passion fruit though like if, if i just bit into a, a passion fruit i don't like it very much well you don't eat passion fruit like that <laughs> they're too bitter <laughs> well hold on let me explain this if it was a late friday night and i had a couple beers in me and i found a couple passion fruits dangling and i just took a bite out of one i probably wouldn't like it he wanted to take a bite out of just one that was you got it take a bite out of the pears. John likes them in pears. You see how he was handling the passion fruit. I was, I was, I was beating you in that scenario, though. Oh, I was well. passing. That wasn't me. That was you. <laughs> All right. That was that voicemail you left me last week. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. So I mean, they're like we said, they're all good. Uh, give them a shot and let us know what you think. If you tried, if you tried one of these, let us know. What you think of them, and what are uh, what's your favorite sour beers? What are some sour beers that you guys like? Let us know, and we'll let you know if we've tried them. And if we haven't, maybe that'll be something we'll do in a future video. Yeah, if you guys put them um, any beers you want us to taste in the in the comments, uh, there's not many beers I'll turn down. So um, just let us know, and we'll we'll try to get to them. Yeah. All right, guys.